Oh, you then you be fooling. I'm peeping all of your movies. Cause girl, you the one I'm assuming. All of these bitches be choosing. But girl, you the one that I'm choosing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ice Naya. Hi. So today I wanted to just talk about this unit on my head. I wanted to talk about these bundles and just give you guys a full review on this hair. If you guys have not been following me on social media, you guys know I wore this hair for my birthday. And it's literally been a month since I've had this hair, probably like a month and a week. So I decided why not do a full review on this hair. So if you guys are interested in learning about this hair on my head, how I colored it, because I'm going to insert some clips on how I colored the hair, then please stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from me, if you want to see more makeup looks, if you want to see more hair reviews, if you want to just see more of your girl, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So... I purchased this hair around the beginning of July. I don't really remember the exact like time frame, but I know it was like the beginning of July because I wanted to get everything started and like start getting the stuff that I needed for my birthday. So I purchased this hair in July. This is a 14 inch closure. I believe it's a four by four, definitely a four by four. This is 16, 18 and 20 inches. And it is layered to perfection. And my friend made the wig for me. I didn't make this unit. She made this unit herself. So, and then the only thing that I did was did the watercolor method. So I colored this hair myself and it was the first time I did it. So I was really excited that it came out so nice and this is the color that I wanted. So the two um, colors that I used in my hair was Limelight and Neon Green from Kiss Pro. I'll insert some clips on how I did the watercolor method so you guys can like check it out everything so when I did the watercolor method it worked extremely nice I didn't have any problems with it or anything I really wanted the green to really stand out and I wanted it to be vibrant so if you are trying to do the water watercolor method on your 613 bundles and you want the colors to come out like really 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 vibrant use less water because usually when you use less water the product like the um the semi-permanent dye attaches to the hair extremely easily and that's when you'll start to see the vibrancy so that's what i did and um yeah i just used some silicone mix to condition the hair because i didn't want to add any shampoo because i feel like if i would have added shampoo it would have stripped the hair and i didn't want the hair to get stripped it didn't really necessarily matter what kind of shampoo I used. I just didn't want to strip the hair with any kind of shampoo product. So I just used conditioner. Silicone mix is like my safe, my safest bet if I want the hair to, you know, be extremely soft and just kind of snap back or whatever the case may be. Because this was my first time working with this hair. So I just like, all right, let me go with my safest bet, which is the silicone mix. But it worked extremely well, made the hair extremely soft. Um, I did notice that these are straight bundles, so it lay, left like a little tiny little wave, which I didn't really care too much for. Like, it didn't really bother me. It was just nice and soft and pretty, and it was nice. Now, the tangling, I did experience a little bit of tangling in the back because I did a lot with this wig. I was partying, I was sweating, all types of stuff, so I did experience a little bit of tangling, and shedding is not that bad but it can get bad sometimes depending on how much i'm brushing so i'm trying not to brush as much but um other than that it's not like super super bad like it's like the typical shedding that i would get if i brush the hair if i run my fingers through the hair i don't really get any strands which i'm really happy about and i can run my fingers through the hair it's really really nice and soft it's bouncy like when i first wore the hair when it was blonde it was nice and bouncy and i was just like okay all right ooh, ooh. so this hair is really nice for the price point that it is it's really nice um what else can i say with curls oh my god i love when this hair is curled I like it when it's straight, but I'm not going to lie. Like, it looks a little bit thin. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, it looks a little thin. Um, But when it's curled, it looks so full. It looks so nice. It looks so pretty. And I like these little curls because it's not too much. 
but I love when the hair is curled. When it's straight, it looks nice, but it just looks a little tad bit thin. The only thing that I would say about the Janet Collection bundles is I just wish that they were just a little bit thicker. Just a little bit thicker. And we'll be fine. Because I noticed, like, when I did straighten the hair, like, it was just a tad bit thin. But it's not, like, I'm just the type of person, I like my hair to be full. I like it to be really, really nice and full. Like, this is giving me full because it's curled. But when it's straightened, it's like the ends get a little bit, like, they just look like they need to be clipped. So I think I'm going to clip the ends of this hair. Because originally, the main objective was to cut it into a bob. Because I wanted this hair into a bob, but I didn't have time to do it. But I'm perfectly fine with the way it looks right now because it looks so cute and so long and this color is amazing. Um, Anything else that I have to say about it? No, because it holds a curl really well. Like, I think I left these curls in my hair. Well, I just curled my hair um, not too long ago before I started filming. But when I did have, like, my really nice fluffy curls, they stayed for about six, seven days, so about a week. So it holds a curl really, really nice, like really, really nice. And I love when this hair is curled. It looks so beautiful, so pretty, so nice. Um, I only shampooed this hair once. I've just been using silicone mix because, I don't know, like I've just been using silicone mix on it. But it washes really nicely. Like you can just go right through the hair. It's no problem. I actually thought when I was going to start conditioning the hair, I thought the color was going to like start fading and it didn't fade which I was really happy about because it because you know semi-permanent dyes after a while it starts to fade but I didn't see anything when I was washing the hair as far as like the color like transferring from the hair you know to the tub I didn't see any of that so but other than that for the price point this hair is amazing and it's holding really really well I don't wear this wig all the time so I'm guessing that's probably why it's holding up really well. But it's holding up pretty nice. Because me and this wig been through a lot of stuff. Like, we was, I was sweating in this wig. Like, the whole back of my hair was sweating. And I was like, ooh. That's not cute. That's dang. <laughs> that's dang. But uh, me and this wig been through some stuff. But it's holding up extremely well and i really like it and i think all together i have probably the exact total amount down below in the description box but all together i think i paid like 120 for this hair and for 16 18 and 20 this is really not bad it's really nice and it's holding together extremely well and the color is amazing so if you want to try some color and you don't want to spend so much money on blonde bundles, I would say get the Janet Collection because I highly recommend it. It's really good for the price point. You don't get as much shedding. You don't get the the, the harsh tangling unless you was dancing like me because I was dancing and I was having a good time. <laughs> and I just think that it's just a great alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money and because you know sometimes blonde bundles can get really pricey really expensive and then the kiss pro um semi-permanent let me tell y'all that stuff smells amazing like my hair still smells like it like it still smells like the bottles like i know i could smell the silicone mix in my hair because i washed this hair maybe like a week maybe two weeks ago so i smell the silicone mix but i'm still smelling the actual like smelt the smelling sensation of the dye and it smells amazing like oh god this stuff smells so good it's like the mixture of silicone and then the mix of the kiss pro semi-permanent dye and that stuff smells amazing i was obsessed with it in the very beginning because it smelled good and then the color was just bomb i think i'm gonna just that's just my new semi-permanent dye kiss pro but yeah that's all that i have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoy this color let me know if you guys want me to do another color in my hair because i'm working on something but it's just not like coming as fast as i want it to come so if you guys want me to try a different color on my hair let me know in the comment section down below and i will definitely have something for you guys probably by the end of august because that's what it's kind of like gravitating towards but let me know what color you guys want me to do and i will try to do it for you um but we'll see i hope you guys enjoy if you did give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me 
and I'll see you on my next upload. I'm taping all of your movies. Cause girl, you the one I'm pursuing. All of these bitches be choosing. But girl, you the one that I'm choosing.